Okay, so for the next portion of this, we're going to take this trajectory over here using a lot of the different uh, functions of uh, Weaver bird. So we're going to take in this union mesh. Again, we've got a closed poly two closed poly surfaces here. Feed that into a VREP2 mesh so we can begin to uh, manipulate the mesh in that way. And we've got a couple of trajectories here. So first, going to apply uh, some triangles to the mesh and then give that a value level of uh, three for now. We'll be able to see this a little bit better when we uh, run the frame. So we can see here that it's placing now within each of the faces of the mesh, uh, these triangles. You can also do, uh, there's also a, a weaver bird hexagonal. And we can adjust this to give us more or less uh, triangles in that face. And a couple of the ones that you'll see in the images, if you're looking at the, at the blog or um, some of the, just the general images for the project, uh, I have uh, rendered out one from a uh, level of 10 and another from a level of uh, three. So I'll leave that on and turn this off. So we've got this here, and then we can uh, thicken that. And we've got, so with our frame, We've got this set to one, we can change that. I've got it set to intervals. And if you take it up high enough, everything kind of blends in together. Um, so two, three, you're probably getting a little too big. So I'm gonna keep it at, um, at one for now. So that's feeding into the frame as well as the, um, the Weaver bird thickness here. And we change this, you can see that reflected in the kind of um, not panelizing. There's another Weaver bird node that is um, uh, windows that can do something like that. So, oops. So let's take this back to three. And another, uh, way that we can give some form to this new organization is using the uh, Zerpinski triangle. And similar to the frame, we can give that a thickness here. And we can even take that a step further and uh, stellate it. And that gives each of those triangular faces its own little uh, its own little kiss, which is these uh, these little um, pyramid forms attached to it. So that is all of those. And. show you what some of these look like in a uh, rendered space or uh, just a rendered kind of view. You can see we still have that interior structure there. So some of these like, so this, and then both of these that have a uh, thickness frame, we could, um, Theoretically, you know, these are you know, big, so we could then uh, 3D print some of these geometries out, scale them up. Um, there's a artist I reference in the in the blog entry that does a, a lot of these kind of uh, not quite like this. They don't really, they're more his or or, or theirs are more shells, um, 
but yeah, so that's uh, my project. Uh, let me know if you uh, have any questions or comments to uh, further develop it. Develop it. I think there's a lot of um, potential to develop it in a direction that uh, the design and the aperture sizes are informed um, by uh, daylight simulation and studies. So if anyone has kind of a first trajectory thought on those, I definitely welcome it. Uh, thank you.